Have you ever had a great portable operating session? Then the rain came down and ruined your paper log. Even if you're using a ballpoint pen, the ink will smear and you can't easily write on wet paper. Felt tip pens are even worse. Leave them at home for drawing circuit diagrams and never take them portable. Their ink smears and the writing can be unreadable. Then there's times where even though the writing may still be readable when you pack up, by the time you get home, after unfolding the sodden mess that's your log, it's all smeared and not readable at all. Yep, ordinary paper, like the backs of envelopes I often use, is no good for amateur radio logging under wet or humid conditions. Some other material is required. Whether it's a paper log, designing a building, or any other engineering project, materials is important. You need to know the characteristics and properties of them. The characteristics of materials are often found experimentally, often doing crazy things. For instance, have you ever tried to write on a banana with a ballpoint pen? It's exceptionally easy, even easier than paper. But there's some certain other properties as well that could be useful for amateur radio portable operating. Yep, banana skin has interesting characteristics. It's super easy to write on and dries well, yet it's absorbent enough to handle ballpoint pen writing. That's unlike many impermeable plastic surfaces that you need a permanent marker to write on. Like all materials, they have their disadvantages. If they're exposed to pressure, they'll go black and you won't be able to read the writing. And they're not so good if you trip over them. The moral is to play around with different sorts of materials and do things with them that you might not otherwise think of. You might find out some interesting things, some of which can be useful.